What's up, what's up, what's up, boys and girls? My name is Plant Powers, and this is The Medium. A psychological, dark, mystery, horror type of game where we play as, you guessed it, a medium that has these psychic powers and we're able to use them to explore in between these two worlds, a real one and a spirit world, in order to solve whatever has happened to this mystery. I don't know anything about this game, I only know this uh, small... Uh, a summary, so let's jump right into it so we can learn much more about the game, I'm sure. It looks good though, it looks very good. Resident Evil type vibes. It all starts with a dead girl. It's always a good start. Oh, she's done for. Okay. Shot a little girl point blank. Very brave man. I know that was a pre-render, but that looked good. Not the context. Ever since I was little, I've had this dream. It's the end of summer. A girl is running through the woods. The moon, the scent of pines. And then the gunshot. It always felt so real. The blood on my cheek, the cold sweat running down my skin. I'd managed to convince myself it really happened. This scar of a memory. A part of me I could never fully understand. Uh, well, that wasn't the only part. Why is she so dirty? Didn't mean that in a sexual way, but no wonder people used to think I was strange. If they only knew. Right. Uh, to me, it seems like a metaphor for our insecurities, maybe. Phone rang. It was the hardest day of my life. The day I went home to say goodbye to my father. Dress him up for his last journey. Put him in a suit, fix his tie. Simple. Just the things he did every day. But looking through his stuff wasn't easy. I needed a moment to pull myself together. I was almost ready. Here we go. I just had to find his special tie clip. Okay. Sad day, and of course it's raining. Why wouldn't it be? I mean, they do seem to be in England somewhere, so... Just an average Tuesday, I guess. What is this? October 1999. Calendar, can I... Oh, we can read it. Memorial, the Holy Guardian Angels, Funeral at 10, Ultrasound, Our Lady of the Rosary, Biopsy, Send Package to Marianne, Neurologist Visits, Funeral, 12.30, Another Ultrasounds, Neurosurgeon Visit, 
funeral 9, funeral 11. Damn, how many funerals does this person have? Pick up Marianne from train sta station. All Saints Day, All Souls Day, surgery. Hmm. Uh, it seemed, the FPS seemed to be weird, though. It's just a game thing. Oh. Shit. <laughs> yeah. I love the uh, the fixed uh, camera angles. Very old school. Jack's room. It's like he never. Damn it! Is that her father? Look how many medals. Guy was a real boy scout. Jack was part of the solidarity movement. He spent a few months in an internment camp, but even that couldn't dampen his spirit. What is the uh, solidarity movement, I wonder? An internment camp? That doesn't sound good either. Can we pet the cat? Jack was a humble, religious man. He ran a funeral home, and I'd help out whenever I could. Oh, that's why so it many... good to be useful. Okay. Keep hissing at me. Who do you think's gonna feed you now? <laughs> Right, cats. You better know your place. <laughs> I used to think I'd never fit in, but Jack, he didn't mind my weirdness. He kept telling me I was special. Wait, is Jack her f her father or just a friend? A bit confused right now. Maybe she said it before, but. Oh, look at this room. Weird to be back in my old room. So many memories. Looks cool, though. Yeah. I used to have a thing for them. No shit. <laughs> Don't know why, really. I guess they just used to make me happy. Jack knew it well. That's why there's so many of them here. They are beautiful, though. As long as you don't go around and killing them on purpose, just hang them on your wall. Kids from the orphanage. Not all of them had my luck. That's oh. why I kept coming back. To play. To take care of them. To listen. That was the least I could do. That's her, I guess. Right. Was she adopted as well? Is that why she calls him Jack? I used to get a lot of these. To me, they were like trophies. Badges of honor for doing the right thing. Jack wasn't too amused, but he did his best to cover for me. Dear Mr. Orkan, for making him go through all that. We must request you to attend the next parent-teacher meeting as we would like to discuss with you the situation that took place last Thursday. To recap, Marianne gave one of the students a message from his recently deceased grandmother. We understand it was Marianne's way of consoling her fellow students, but we're sure you realize that this behavior is inappropriate, to say the least. Given that this is not the first behavioral problem we've informed you about, we believe it's time, high time, for us to meet and talk about Marianne's future in our school. Sincerely, Principal of Primary School number 7, Zofia Kania. Oh, she's a troublemaker, I guess. My Giving out speeches. Family heirloom. As a kid, I'd show this to people just to freak them out. I'd usually say something like, "Pretty sick, huh?" I see you admission cards. So she was three years old. She suffered second-degree thermal burns, covering 35% of total body surface area, trunk and upper limbs area. Suspected inhalation injury. Damn, early wound coverage, respiratory support, initiated fluids, resuscitation, initiated pen control, initiated patient placed on high flow oxygen till carbon monoxide poisoning is ruled out. Damn, she was uh, in the fire then, I guess. That can't have been... Uh, great, to say the least. Traumatic, to say the worst. Let's keep uh, searching for that... Uh, tie clip. We could check any of these paintings out, but I don't think we can. Okay. Go in here. Oh, something here in the wall hallway. Hold up. Oh, it's just another. Uh, right. 
The tie clip. Pull yours up together, Marianne. Oh, um, that must be the exits. Oh, uh, we have a funeral home room key, but we don't have any cut foods. Looks nourishing. I guess we got some. The Kuchi La Kochi. Put that in. Treat the cat. Here you go. What's your face? Glad to see you're still Oh, look at him. <laughs> That's cute. There's lots of tin cans cut through the round though. Symbolic funeral of the Sierzna mine. Miners from the Sierzna mine came to work today as usual, but instead of flashlights and pickaxes, they carry the black caskets adorned with lit candles, a symbol of their company's demise. This is not the death of our mine, says members of the Sierzna mine rescue committee. We will not let our jobs be buried. This casket is meant for the Vistula Coal Company, they adds. The miners have also announced that they will come to work tomorrow. They refuse to accept that the Sierra mine was liquidated. Meanwhile, their colleagues continue to protest outside of the company headquarters in Tichi, building a symbolic wall in the entrance. Each day they had another layer of bricks. There are only five left until the wall reaches the ceiling. NATO's new mission projecting stability in a post-Cold War world. Early today, US President Bill Clinton delivered a major foreign policy address to commemorate the fall of the Berlin Wall. The President commended the progress that was made in the last decade towards strengthening democracy in Central and Eastern Europe, while also outlining the challenges that lie ahead. The US leader also emphasized the fact that his country, leadership and involvement have been critical to Europe's peaceful transformation. President Clinton's vision of an divided, democratic and peaceful Europe has now been furthered by another key achievement, the induction of Poland, Hungary and the Czech Republic into the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. By doing so, the NATO leaders are hoping to strengthen these young democracies, ensuring their further contribution to the security and stability of Europe. That all sounds lovely, don't it? I can't believe it's all still here. Except for the miners, of course. Oh, he has a hobby of amateur photography, or... This looks very professional, to be honest, but... Illuminate photo for five seconds, dip in multigrade for three seconds. Okay. Which one is which? We don't have a picture to develop, though. Uh... Okay. Hmm. I guess I forgot about this one. I can do it now. So we do have a photo now. Uh, so let's read the instructions, actually. Illuminate photo for five seconds. So that must be here, right? Okay. And then there's, here it says multigrades. Uh, so that must... The purple one's multigrade. Stop for three seconds. And then fixer. That's the green one there. Three seconds. All right. All right. So five seconds. One... Two, three, four, five. Okay. Cool. Now let's dip that in. One, two, three. Okay. Oh, something's developing. That's cool. And then stop for three seconds. One, two. Oh, no, this is the stop one. I mean, it's gotta be. One, Two, three, out. Oh, look at that. One, two, three. That was the last photo I took of you, Nice. Jack. Shit. A nice looking photo as well. Very majestic. Royal. Oh, got ourselves a photo. Not sure how is this useful. Maybe we can place it on the casket or something. Uh, I think there was another door around here. Maybe not. There's definitely a hallway through here. Nope, never mind that. There's just a L-shape apartment. Wait, where is the room? Oh, 1984, nice. Interesting. 
George Orwell in this book is like in every single psychological horror game. It's a staple. Um, don't feel like there's anything left in this area. Where the hell is the clip tie? I'm sure there was a door past the kitchen to this side. Okay, never mind that. Uh, can we run? No. Okay, so where? In here. This is where we were, right? I mean, this must be his room. Uh, am I missing a door somewhere? I gotta be missing a door somewhere. That's our room? Living room? Just checking everything. Once again. Can't get past here. That's fine. So we can Jack's go through here. I need to find it. Okay. Just somewhere around the kitchen. I don't even know where his room is. It would make sense. It would be in his room. Hold up. Is there something else on the table here? Cat is eaten. Cat's gone as well. Alright, this is bizarre. Where the hell is the room? <laughs> Where does Jack sleep? Think like Jack. Oh, I've. Funeral at 7. Oh, it's gotta be around here, no? Like a... the an iron board here. What in the hell? Does it make any sense if it's in this room? I did check everything here, I th thought. Um, yeah, this is uh, uh, a bit weird. Oh, what's this? Come on, Jack, where'd you put it? Oh my god, honestly. Okay. Let's do this the other way. Activate insights. Huh. Oh. There, there we go. Finally. <laughs> okay, I think that's it. Jack's waiting downstairs. Time to say goodbye. Note to self. Thoroughly check everything. Okay, now we can leave, I think. Yeah. We lived upstairs from Jack's funeral home. It wasn't as weird as it sounds. It sounds very weird. Besides, if it wasn't for that, I may never have learned to use my powers. I hope they didn't have a, a crematorium as well, because, like, living above that? I don't think that's... That's a good idea. But it looks like an apartment complex, so I would imagine they wouldn't have a crematorium here. Very normal rundown building, I guess. Cheap rents. Nosy neighbors. They don't really want to talk to each other. 
kind of looks like that. Jack taught me to accept my condition. So of can all my foster parents, he was the only one who saw it as a gift and not a curse. So we can use insights whenever we want, it seems. The last goodbye funeral home. I wonder if I should be using this all of the time. If we get some hidden uh, dialogues or something, I don't know. Nice black. Looks like a classy joint. Jack's in the prep room. Oh, this is nice, actually. Look at this. Looks a bit royal and everything. Presidential, maybe? Classy, though, definitely. Prep room, personal only. Huh, weird. I don't remember locking it. Okay. The key should be in the office. Look at that sculpture on the wall, that is very cool. Tree of life, sort of thing. That's cool. Got the weird paintings all over the wall, very religiously themed, as you would expect. Oh. Here it is. Prep room key, gotcha. And what is this? Record of funeral. Name of deceased Adam Nowak. Um, male, born in 76, Krakow, university student, married, 99, uh, embalming, dressing body, flowers. Mrs. Nowak brought funeral payment confirmation today. It's, it's in the cabinet. Also, Robert took Friday off, so we'll need to find someone else for the funeral. Marianne. Okay. So she helps out as well around the uh, the funeral home, I guess. As you should, being uh, the first child. Or any particular child, for that matter. Helping your parents is a very big deal, because they do help you out each and every day. Okay, so we can't really proceed anywhere else besides into the prep room. Hopefully there isn't a dead body half prepped. Oh, it goes down to the basement as well. Classic. Nothing to see here. No insights to have either. Can we turn on the lights, please? Not feeling uh, very comfortable being around here. <sighs> Not sure if I'm ready for this. Oh, is Jack on the table or something? Do we have to prep him? Oh, that is hard. Oh, goodness. Hey, that Jack. Look at the leather jacket she's got on as well. It's got some sort of pattern there, but I'm not really sure. Can we? Not sure if we can have a closer look at that. Looks good though. Oh, it's just like, and it looks like a mandala, but not really. That looks cool. Uh, so do we put the tie clip on him? I guess. Yeah, make him look good. I got your special clip. No, where's your tie? Right. You'll be looking for. Oh, there it is. Combine clip with tie. Okay. Nice. Snazzy. You wouldn't have it any other way.
I didn't expect this to be easy. I guess I didn't know what to expect. When things get personal, it... It just burns you from the inside out. There. I guess you're ready. But am I? I mean, uh, I guess it would be easier for her because she's used to dealing with death. I mean, obviously it's not the same thing when uh, that particular death is a very close one to you, so... I'd, yeah. Can't be easy. Oh, can't you people read? The signs that's closed. <gasps> Just a power surge. Everything's good. Everything's fine. It's raining a lot. Things get broken. Prepare Jack for his last journey. Check upstairs for our last journey. Oh god. Uh, there's a freaking shadow there. What is up with that? Oh, that ain't right. <laughs> Use insights? Uh, didn't do anything. Let's use our insight to get the hell out of here, that's what I'm saying right now. Oh, shit. Come on. I think we have a burglar. What the hell? Holy shit, that was a shadow there again. Insight reveals nothing. Guess you felt it too. Oh, <laughs> god damn, this cat already scared me twice. Oh, was that camera angled movement? And then it happened. As it did so many times before. Just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse. Oh, where is that darn notebook? I'm gonna be late. I need to find that. Marianne? Oh, oh look Marianne, at him. Are you... are you crying, my child? Oh, that is creepy. Better a jacket as well. Happened to see my notebook, did you, darling? Uh, my memory's a bit fuzzy. So much for aging gracefully. Where is that? Thing? Listen, Jack. You should probably get some rest. Forget the notebook. Oh no, no, no. I've got so much work, my dear. It's I, okay, I, Jack. No, I, I can't just what? let it go. Uh, it's not important. You... you are crying. What's wrong, dear? Why is it so cold in here? Where is that shh, 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 shh. Hmm? It's okay, hey. Jack. It's okay. My sweet little Marianne. What would I ever do without you? Jack. Hmm? It's time to get some rest. Oh, Mary. Yeah? Oh, I, I, I'm worried about the surgery. When I'm at the hospital, are, are you sure you're going to be all right? Yes, Jack. It's going to be fine. Uh, oh, you, you know, I, I promised myself once. I would never let anything happen to you. Not while I'm around. I'll be fine. I promise. Uh, <laughs> no risky stuff then. Huh? Right? 
All right, Jack. That's so heavy that it doesn't realize be good, Mary. what is you. happening. I've loved you since the moment you walked into my life. Remember that. Always. That is so cool that we're able to do that for for him, for Jack. Helping him move on, I Most guess. Most people would give anything to have that opportunity. To One. say all the things that were left unsaid. But it didn't make things any easier. I could help a thousand souls cross over, but when it came to Jack, it still hurt like hell. I love you too, Daddy. I used to think everyone saw the world the way I did. Divided. Torn between two realities. But... No. I was the only one. Or so I thought. We're closed. There's another funeral home across town. I can give you the number. I... Marianne. Who is this? You don't know me, Marianne. But I know you. Look, if this is a joke... Uh... You need to listen to me, Marianne. Okay, I I'm hanging up. I know what you are. What? Who is this? My name is Thomas. I need your help. Uh, listen, if that's all you've got, I'm... No, uh, there's more. I can give you the answers you've been looking for your whole life. But I, I need you to trust me. Trust you? I don't even know you. It all starts with a dead girl. Oh, just like the dream. What did you say? The Neva Resort. Find me there. Please. The light, it's almost gone. It's not dark yet, but it's getting there. You're the only one who can stop it. You're my only chance. Hello? Is he Hello? calling from the uh, spirit world? Shit. The light's going out. Well, wherever he's calling from and whoever he is, I think uh, we are bound to help. Oh man, this I think this is going to be a very special game. It looks cool from the onset, already half an hour in, and I'm invested, baby. I'm all in. <laughs> I like that the um, the mask Jack was wearing. Very symbolic, as it was like it was broken as well. Like the mask we have for all our lives finally gets broken when you die, right? Your true self, your expression of your soul finally comes through the veneer. In, <laughs> I mean, it's a way, one way of looking at it, I guess. So what the hell is this movie? Some sort of experiment going on with kids? What is this trying to portray? Pigeons, kids and trials. I think this might be actually be set in Prague. But I could be mistaken. The medium.
and off I went. On nothing but a hunch. A call from a complete stranger. But I'd learned to trust my instincts, and there was something about this guy, his voice. I felt like I should know him. Either way, he sure seemed to know me. A nice bike there. Sounds a bit off. But nice indeed. Oh, this is actually in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, we're definitely in some eastern uh, uh, European country. I guess it's Czech Republic, but... This area is closed. Do not enter. Well... The Neva Workers Resort. Right off the bat, I could feel there was something off about that place. Yeah, the big sign. <laughs> it's kind of telltale And the freaking ravens around. Pigeons. Uh, this looks like a big park. Where are we, actually? Car park. Recreation facilities. There's a big lake as well. Okay. I'm guessing this is locked. The front gate was locked up tight. Yeah. I needed to find another way in. Bingo. Anyone home? I guess not. What's this? Ni Niwa says hello. Groundskeeper postcards. I just collectibles. Oh, we can. Oh, we can rotate this. Hold up. Oh, let me get this in frame. There we go. Niwa says hello, you would love it here, my dear. Amazing day room for the kids and free lesson, free art lessons. Lots of families and the hotel is huge. I've never seen anything like it. Wish you could be here with me. Miss you, F. So it's a sort of resort. Okay, alright. Probably cursed and haunted by evil spirits. What the? Hello? Oh, oh no, not Thomas? zombies. Definitely zombies. <laughs> um, how do we get a key for the? Is it still going? Yeah, it's still going. Seems like I should be able to jump this window, but all right. Maybe we have to go around the back here. Is there any way I can run, jog faster, walk at a pace? No. Just casually strolling around. Oh, there's freaking zombies everywhere. You want to keep me out, Neva? <clears throat> They're gonna have to do better than that. Straight into the freaking woods we go. Okay, now the, the path is blocked. Get onto the road. Not a whole lot of people knew about Neva. It used to be a government-owned vacation resort. Oh, there we go. One day it just stopped. And so an urban legend was born. The Neva Massacre. The details were always fuzzy. Crazed workers, ancient curses. You know, the usual. Of course. Nailed it. Yeah, we do. We are able to jog, actually. Let's see if we can find our friends. Start getting acquainted with the uh, neighbors. Hello? Is anyone in the creepy woods? Oh. oh, please don't tell me we have to crawl through that pipe. It's probably at some point. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, it's goddamn children. Of course. Creepy children that want to play with disappearing balls. Uh, hello. Oh, oh, little footsteps. Are you for real? Do we have a comment about those? Guess not. All right. Just follow the footsteps. I mean, maybe if we were able to perceive them, maybe it's not that bad. We can just communicate with them, right? It wasn't that bad with Jack. I guess children won't be either. But it's a bit wary about uh, evil spirits. Is there something up top the uh, tree line there? Not sure if I got a glimpse of that. God, it feels like something's watching me, and <laughs> what's this? T plus K, nineteen sixty-eight. Oh, and it looks like a very small hand, though. Can I do something about it? No. Just watching the uh, the tree lines, see if anything moves. Yeah. If I can, we go this way. Uh, no, I don't think we're meant to. Oh, there's another hand here. This kid clearly likes to mark his path by slapping the shit out of trees. Just follow the kids. Warning, due to recently unearthed remains, renovation works have been suspended pending archaeological e examination. Unearthly... Wait, unearthed remains, right? Of course, they build the whole resort on top of an Indian burial ground or something. Similar to that. Something How much do you want to bet? Here. Oh, it's happening again. The Holy. split would come and go. If a place had a story to tell, well, I oh. guess I was there to listen. Wow, this is cool. Very trippy at the same time. Not sure where to look. Uh, probably at the spirit world. Her jacket left sleeve makes me very uncomfortable. I just want to rip everything out. Oh, look, we can climb here. This is so weird. Dead. Like everything else in this place. Focus on the spirit world. Oh, look at that. Okay. Focus on the material world. All right. Okay. Uh, can we check out the rest of the place here? Oh. Something here. A drawing of a kid with a ball. Eerie drawings. Right. 
Right, 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 right. If uh, there's anything else, I don't think so. Um. Oh, this music in the background as well. And soaked in misery. Figures, I guess. A thousand years of history doesn't just happen. It's paid for. Try to even in the deepest darkness, light can linger. Lonely, fragile, waiting for someone to embrace it. I'm trying to use my perception there in sight, but apparently you can't use it whilst uh, talking, so... What the hell is that? Oh, something else here as well? Oh, it's just a way back. Okay. Right. As I absorbed the energy, I wondered who it was that left it behind. Well... A dying soldier whispering the name of his beloved? Look at that jacket! Or maybe just glad to be done with this war. Uh, why do we want to observe the energy? I have no idea. Maybe it'll become clear. Oh, maybe we can use it to power the uh, junk box, a uh, junction box. Let's see if that's the case. In any case, I figured I could use it. Energy's energy. Press and holds right. RT to charge a spirit blast. Let go to unleash. Oh, so that worked. All right. Good for you, Marion. Look at that. These powers of mine, as much of a pain in the ass as they were, they did come in handy sometimes. Spirit Blast, eh? Anyways, I started blasting. Uh, oh, we're going back. Oh, <laughs> that is creepy. Alright. Uh, boys and girls, I think I'm gonna take a quick break here. Let me know what you think of the game so far. I am absolutely loving it. I think this is going to be epic. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think. Thank you so much for the support and for checking out the video. Please, if you like it or dislike it, just let me know. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please uh, feel free to do so. If you enjoyed the videos and you want to see more, like it. So, yeah, that's me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Thanks.